guys, so much going on. Entering day number 21. And, uh, it's not getting any better. So the governor announcing that we're going to be going all the way through April now. On, under quarantine. Or as he likes to call it, uh, state stay home order. They extended it throughout the month. They're actually going to start pulling people over and uh, giving them warnings, then giving them tickets, and eventually, if people still don't follow directions, they're going to start arresting people. So, a lot going on in Washington. Like I said, it's been a crazy few days. It's been a crazy month, but as far as the weather, it was a crazy few days. So, and other stuff going on, like Costco. Costco is now saying they're only allowing two people per family um, into their stores, which is understandable. Uh, they don't want, like, a whole family showing up with uh, mom and dad and their five kids. Now they just say two people per household per card allowed into the home. So that makes perfect sense. But here it is. Police to enforce stay home, stay healthy order arrests as the, la as the last resort. I'll go ahead and read this. So, it says, Governor Jay Inslee announced a plan to have police enforces stay home, stay healthy order to prevent large groups of gatherings and businesses that may be in violation. Inslee stated during a press conference on Monday that state and local authorities will first inform and educate violators. If problems persist, police will be able to issue citations to frequent violations. Inslee says authorities will refer to complaints to the Attorney General's office as last resort. As last resort. His goal is 100% voluntary compliance on this order. People who wish to inform police about a violation are to call local police. Uh, people reporting any violations, please do not call 911. 911 is strictly for emergencies, but people keep using that number. There you go. Uh, governor is supposed to take some more questions today waiting for him to go live but uh, how are things in your area how are things going on in your state i heard that florida um, was resisting to uh, put a stay home order but they were actually they finally gave in here we go governor jay inslee on thursday so he just announced it today announced an extension of his emergency stay home order through the end of May 4th to halt the spread of the new coronavirus. Wow, just a few days ago they said to the end of April, now it's up to May 4th. This is going to last for the rest of the year. I really believe that this is going to last for the rest of the year. I don't see it going away anytime soon. I uh, It takes me an hour and 15 minutes to get home. And this is something that I see, you know the signs they have on highway that are flashing. This is something I see every day. I pass two of these. These, uh, those right there. Stay home, limit travel, save lives. I passed two of those signs on my way to work. I tried to film one yesterday, but um, it was flashing really bad. Let's see what this one says. It says, uh, Governor Jay Inslee Thursday announced an extension of his emergency stay home order through the end of May 4th to halt the spread of the new coronavirus. Thursday's announcement extends for nearly, by nearly a month. Inslee's order closed. Wait, Thursday's announcement extends by nearly a month. Inslee's order that closed many businesses. Uh, that didn't really make sense. Public. Sorry, I read it wrong. Uh, public schools and much of Washington society, uh, as the state continues to battle cases of COVID-19, the illness caused by the virus, the extension means the entire stay-home order will remain in effect a full six weeks through eleven. 59 p.m. Monday, May 4th. That makes Tuesday, May 5th, the first day for businesses and other activities to open back up. I do not think it's going to happen. I really don't. First announced on March 23rd, the stay-at-home order is aimed at keeping people indoors and restricting as much interaction as possible. You cannot do anything here. No, nothing in Washington State. Going to the river and fishing is also banned. It doesn't matter where it is. It's banned. On my way home from work, I, I pass a... Uh, I pass a river, and there's actually uh, state patrols hiding in the along the river to see if anybody's out there. And I've never seen them there before, but the last week I've seen them several times. 
uh, just a few days ago. I'm not kidding. A few days ago, I passed like seven uh, state patrol cars. It was crazy. Let me see. First announce. I'll read this again. On March 23rd, the stay-at-home order is aimed at keeping people indoors and restricting as much interaction as possible. Some businesses deemed essential, like grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, convenience stores, remain open. Uh, the order also kept in place and strengthened earlier restrictions, temporarily banning sporting events, concerts, and going to gyms, bars, and nail salons. Restaurants can still provide a takeout, but are otherwise closed. A host of other businesses are considered non-essential and are shuttered. Many construction projects have fallen silent. I see a lot of construction workers still working. Uh, there's a new uh, there's a new business being built not far from here. I pass it all the time every uh, every morning, and they're still working on it. So at least they're still working. Since announcing the original stay home order, Isley has made a handful of clarifications that reopens some activities. There you go. That probably explains that one. The governor previously lifted a ban on funerals, though they are still tightly restricted. That makes sense because a lot of people have to bury their family members. I read that in New York they are running out of places to put the bodies. I don't know how true that is. That's just what I read. Uh, a lot of uh, these news sites exaggerate a lot. And in an update this week, he deemed essential other businesses like automotive repair shops, private campgrounds, commercial fishing and geo duck operations. Commercial fishing is a uh, is legal is, is essential, but recreational fishing is not. So, and I did get my oil change on Saturday, so that's considered essential. In that order, the governor also named some automotive sales and leasing activities as essential, along with renewable energies. Still, the corona the coronavirus pandemic has brought economy activity across the nation and in Washington to a shuddering halt. More than 180,000 state residents last week filed for unemployment insurance. Wow, that is a lot. There have been glimmers of hope showing that the social distancing measures being practiced may be having a positive impact in Washington. As of Thursday, there are 6,585 confirmed COVID-19 and 262 deaths, according to the State Department of Health. Wow, that's just in our state. Meanwhile, meanwhile Washington Medical Workers remain short of personal protective gear, such as gloves, gowns, masks, and face and face shields, to protect them in the front on the front lines of the outbreak. Inslee on Wednesday called on manufacturing companies in the state to switch over to producing those items, if possible, as well as well as components needed for test kits. The governor has stressed that without adequate testing capabilities, it will be hard for the state to lift all of its restrictions. There you go. That's what's going on in Washington State. Just a little bit of what's going on in Washington State. What's going on in your state? Let me know. How are you guys handling the uh, the quarantine, or as they like to call it, stay home order? Um, it doesn't sound as uh, stay, uh, making it a stay home order doesn't sound as scary as a quarantine, but that's pretty much what it is. But there you go. I don't have the kids today, so not a very exciting video. I know it's more exciting when the kids are around. They keep me entertained uh, when they're not here. That's what I do. I just read the news and uh, stay updated. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Day 21. Stay tuned tomorrow. Um, the kids won't be here till Saturday, so uh, we'll see what we do until then. But until then.